Carolina here and today I will be talking about a very common mistake uh, that ladies make when they are texting back the men who just cancelled the date. So imagine the scenario. You are supposed to go for a date, for example it's in a few hours and your man is telling, texting you, sorry I am um, at work, busy with project, I won't be able to make it tonight. Um, and it's very early um, stage of your dating and he just cancelled, so I won't be able to come tonight. So lots of women, what they do, they are saying, okay, no problem, uh, let's make it up, Monday, six o'clock, or tomorrow, uh, what you think, or something like that. So give, how do you feel about this scenario and how you feeling about other scenarios? For example, he's texting, sorry, project is, um, is you know, work is really busy, I can't make it tonight. Um, what if you just reply, okay? So with this one, you prompt him that he needs to uh, say, okay, shall, can I make it up? And shall we meet during weekend? Do you have time? So then you can reply, yes, we can make, meet, for example, Monday, six o'clock. However, only if you promise that you're gonna make it. So those two scenarios when you think, yes, okay, no problem, we can make it up this time or whatever, can you see that from that point when we think straight away jumping into no problem and we offering or we proposing different time and date, it's we kind of chasing the man. And it's just showing us kind of maybe desperation that we don't want to lose him, so it's like very needy. And the other, when you think just okay, you allowing him to step up and um, come up to you with potentially different date. So with that, you're just showing, you know what, I have my own life. I don't need to chase you, I don't need to wait for you. I can do whatever, you know, like I want. I'm not gonna just waiting for you until you tell me when you have time. And then also when you're replying, I can meet you Monday six o'clock, uh, only if you of course promise me to come, can you see that you're also setting up the standards. So it's very important because lots of women kind of lowering their standard of vibration or frequency to the men. So for example, women want something, very conscious, fulfilling relationship where there's mutual respect, where people truly make an effort. And then in the end, what is happening when he's keep canceling or not showing up, you're lowering your vibrations because you don't want to lose this uh, kind of relationship or not, not even even relationship, this dating, because there's lots of fear underneath, uh, fear of being alone again, fearing of losing him, uh, maybe some programs kicks in like, or beliefs kicks in, I'm not lovable, I'm not likable, so I need to try even more, I need to prove even more, I need to be this perfect woman who is accommodating all the time, instead of actually setting up your standards, and this is it, he needs to be in your standards. So that way you can truly create beautiful relationship where it's trust, where it's um, feeling, there is a feeling of safety. So this is, this is very important to keep in your mind, set the stop standard, but it's not coming that fake standard. You really need to feel that this is who I am and this is what I want. So I hope this was helpful and uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. And please subscribe if you like this um, video and if you want more information, check below. Bye for now.